Hi guys, um, it's time for a rather large empties and review video. I'm so sorry this has been over a week, but I've had a lot going on. I'm doing a lot of work and overtime at the moment and I have been sick as well. So there is a lot of sort of sickness sort of melt here as well. There's a lot of empties, so I'm going to go through those first. Um, I am reading off of my phone as well, so please do excuse me. I will try and do empties first if I can get to the bottom of the bag. Okay, so first one I've got here is Tiffany's Lavender Mac Apple. Let's sort of focus. There we go. So, Tiffany's Lavender Mac Apple. This one I popped on when I had a headache one day and it was a bit of a ha headache helper. I only had one teddy tart in this. It is a 50-50 mix between lavender and mac apple. I do love this one. I'm sad to see it go, but I will hopefully be grabbing that again. I have Tiffany's Rosemary Mint here. This was a three pack. I love Rosemary Mint from Tiffany's. It's one of my favorite. It's a great 50-50 and this one actually does help me relax. So I'm glad I've got another three pack, but sad to see that one go. This one here is VCS Scarborough Fair, and I did mix this last um, part of the flower, and I mixed it with Scentsy French Lavender, so I do only have two more melts of this one. Now, these two together, it was quite a while that I melted this, um, I didn't put any notes down, but this the French Lavender did not tone down the fact that Scarborough Fair did smell really manly to me. Scarborough Fair, if you do not know, is sage and citrus, and it's a really manly scent. I don't know why I hate it so much, because it should be such a fresh and relaxing scent, which is why I mixed it with the French Lavender, but the Lavender didn't really do anything. It was a very strong sage and citrus scent, so I won't be getting Scarborough Fair again. Next one I've got here is Tiffany Candles Bermuda Triangle. Now, this was more recently. If I can find it. Bermuda Triangle. So I wrote down, like a tropical drink I had as a kid. I could smell kiwi, coconut and orange. This one wasn't really a strong thrower. This one's quite a light to medium throw. You have to be around the melter to smell it. But it is a very tropical scent. I'd say if you mix this with clean cotton, it would smell amazing. That's probably one of my favourite mixes that we're, I would do. I've got here Tiffany's Guava. This was a large amount that I had here, so I've just melted the last two pieces. This was not a scent I liked at all. Guava for Tiffany's is a mix of fruity scents, um, but I didn't like it too much at all. I can't really remember. It was quite a while ago. Mad Hatter's Tea Party by House of Usher Wax Museum. This it was an amazing lavender scent. This had so many lavender buds on the top of it, top of it, and this was so strong. I only melted half of this at a time, and it was so strong. It threw me out of my room, down the hallway. You literally could walk out of the kitchen and up the stairs, and you could smell this. And it's a lovely scent. It's a very herbal lavender as well. I'm sad to see that one go. I love that one. Some more. I finished some clams off, so this first one here is Beach Bum by The Bathing Garden. This was a very sun cream, coconut sort of scent. I love this one. It's more sun cream than coconut. I managed to melt this one really quickly. It really did remind me of my holidays and going abroad. Um, sad to see that go, but I might get it again in the future. Another one I finished by The Bathing Garden is Lavender Vanilla Custard. This one I can remember I did not like as much. Let me try and find my... I've put here, very bakery and strong lavender, not relaxing at all. This was really, really sickening lavender. It was so strong. I couldn't put this on in the, um, at night because it just stayed in my room even when I turned the melter off. I wasn't very keen on it. Glad it's gone. Um, won't be trying that one again. Another one I've got here is Lavender Birthday Bash by Tiffany Candles. I can't really remember this one at all. Don't even know if I wrote anything down about it. Oh, I don't think I did. 
Okay, so they're just lavender as well, I wrote. So I could not smell the birthday bash scent in this one at all. Let's just smell the bag. Yeah, this is just a sweet lavender scent to me. I can't smell any sort of bakery note, any of that birthday bash scent at all. So those two are gone. There's another clan here, and this is Airwick Life Scents in Turquoise Oasis, which is Driftwood, Sea Spray, and Warm Breeze. I had four cubes of this left, so I did just melt it all in one go. And I think because this is one of my older clans, the scent had just gone, but it is an amazing scent. This one is such a nice scent if you like ocean scents. And that Driftwood doesn't come out too strong either, so it doesn't smell very manly. It's a nice scent. I would suggest though if you do melt these, only melt two at a time. Just purely because the, the throw is better when you only melt two. Yeah, into the bottom here. So this one is Somebody to Love by BCS and that is Blueberry Cobbler Crunch. I melted this this morning. Um, it was a very bakery blueberry. Um, normally I hate bakery notes, but this, I could stand it and stay in the room within the four hours purely because of the blueberry in it but the bakery did get down my throat eventually so not one i will purchase but i glad i could try it another one here i've got is atlantic city which is peach snow taffy something else i didn't even write on it this time i got this recently from a friend and i had to melt it straight away i love peach scents i don't get that pea smell from peach scents at all and this was such a sweet peach scent However, this whole pot did make me, I closed my throat up a bit, I couldn't breathe very well. So if I do ever buy, purchase this one in the winter or in a de-stash, I won't melt a lot of it at one time. It'll be a small section at one time, but I did like that one. And I did go through quite a lot of BCS lots of it. This last one here is the Plaza Hotel and that is lemon mint leaf i love this scent it is a clean sort of fresh uh, lemon it doesn't mix well with certain notes you do just have to melt this on its own oh i love that scent it just reminds me of going on holiday to italy and smelling the lemons around it's a lovely scent i do love that one and the last thing on my empties which i normally always do first is my cotton wool balls. I always have these in here. I clean my melter out with those. Um, it does a good job, doesn't leave any colour or residue in my melter. Um, so that's all my empties. I'm going to push them away because I've got loads of other things to review for you. So I'm going to try and go down my list. If I haven't got the item, it's because the, the bag's been thrown away for some god knows reason. Um, so first one here is Tiffany's Lavender Pink Rosemary Mint. This one is literally sweet lavender, pink sugar and rosemary mint and I love this scent. This is so relaxing. This will probably be put on tonight before I go to bed. Um, oh yeah, I love anything with rosemary mint in it um, and lavender so this is a great scent. I hope she brings this back again because I love that one. Next one I do not have an um, empty or a package for for some reason and it's Tiffany's pistachio which is very very cherry I love pistachio especially from Tiffany's so I love that one I will be purchasing that again if I can next one I have here is Tiffany's Sightable Rose in Hush Coconut Cream and Rosemary Mint Hush is a bedtime blend by Tiffany's which has lavender in it I can't remember the other scent note but this one on cold See, this was such a long time ago, I can't really remember it. On cold, it's a lovely scent. But you do get more of that coconut cream than anything else. On warm, you can't smell anything. This one doesn't blend very well for me. Um, it's not very strong on the lavender or the rosemary mint, which I would have loved it to be. Just being honest, um, I know some people really love this scent. I will try it again. So hopefully on another day, it will be a bit better. Next one is another Tiffany's blend and it is Rosemary Mint and Mac Apple and this is in Tiffany's Stars. I did, did pop one whole star in. I had a little bit of a headache this day so I thought these two blend together would be lovely. 
However, I could not smell the rosemary mint at all. Um, I'm warm. I had a faint, slight mac apple. On cold, it's mostly mac apple as well. Um, so again, I will give it another go. I'll see what happens the next time I have a headache. It just could be the fact that I had so much of a headache that I couldn't smell any of the scent notes and was focusing too much on the pain. But it was worth trying that one. The next one I've got is another Tiffany's blend. As you can tell, I've been going through my Tiffany's. And this is Tiffany Candles Mini Hearts in Barbie Girl, Pink Cotton and Pink Sugar. And I must say, I love this blend. This is such a pink sugar, sweet, clean scent. Um, if you love anything girly or romantic, this is definitely one for you. That pink sugar and pink cotton mix so well. I'm so glad I've got almost a full bag of this one and I'm going to love this one forever, I think. So that one I might have to go on again, actually. Next one I've got is a VCS blend, which I have not tried beforehand. And that one is Little Briar Rose. And this had come from a friend, which is why the bag looks a bit battered. This is green apple, pomegranate and cotton candy and this scent is the one I picked for our wax challenge for making you happy because as soon as I smelt the green apple and the sweet pomegranate and cotton candy together I, I just had a smile on my face and it's exactly the same on, on warm throw as well. It's such a sweet fruity blend and it's lovely. Can't wait to have that on again. I'm so glad I've got a lit literally a lot of that one. The next one I have on is a little bit of a blend that I wanted to create myself and this one is BCS Moonstone which is eucalyptus, spearmint and peppermint which you all know I love and I also added in Omar's Wax House Creations in Watermelon so just a cube of watermelon with um, two strips of Moonstone and this was such a nice nose opening blend it was fruity but pepperminty and strong um, really worked for me and I'm, I'm glad I could have mixed those two together which will probably be done again in the future let me see what the next one is okay the next one here is Tiffany's Lavender Lemonade this one I'll be totally honest you could smell the sweet lemonade the poppy fizzy scent of the lemonade but the lavender wasn't so strong um, it was a great row this one as soon as the teddy melted you could smell that um, sweet lemon scent but even just in the package now I really can't smell the lavender it is mostly the fizzy lemon it's a good one but I did want more next one is another one from Tiffany's and it is rose moment sinus relief and stress relief this one I popped on Saturday when I was ill. I could not breathe through my nose and I felt really sick. So I thought this blend would actually really help me. And it did. It is mostly rosemary mint between all of the other scents. But it is a very strong throw. And it's a really nice one that one. I'm glad I've got quite a big bag of that as well. And the other one that I have not showed you. And this is the last one. I tried this yesterday. And this is Pebbles and Bam Bam by BCS. This was for our strawberry on our wax chat. And it is fresh picked strawberry, fruity pebbles, twinkies and marshmallow. And this one, by God, this is a strong thrower. This walked me out of my room, down the stairs and into our kitchen. It was a lovely fruity strawberry. Very strong. Kicked me out of my room, but I loved it. If you love like cereal blends or bakery blends, but you're not too sure on them yet, try this one the marshmallow and the strawberry really tone it down a bit and i'm so glad of this new creation so i love this one so that is everything guys i can finally breathe again a bit now we have a lot of empties and a lot of full ones still but i am going through my collection now i still haven't bought anything from wax or anything like that I haven't bought any d stashes um i did want to buy from the south round soap restock on friday but there isn't enough time for me before i go out so i'll just carry on melting as i can anything that's empty at tiffany's will go into my meltdown box which is below this camcorder at the moment 
and so till the next one thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys